Did you know an eight-year-old boy couldn't pass out candy at Christmas because they had Jesus printed on the wrapper? A Christian florist in Washington state was slapped with a lawsuit by the attorney general for not providing wedding flowers for a same-sex couple. A pastor was ordered to stop holding Bible studies in the privacy of his own home. A nurse was forced to participate in a late-term abortion, even though she had a written agreement that her religious convictions would be honored. Colorado Baker was ordered by a judge to bake cakes for same-sex couples or face prosecution, despite his Christian beliefs. The photographer was ordered to pay nearly $7,000 after she declined to photograph a couple's same-sex marriage. Judges have literally turned the original meaning of the First Amendment upside down. Our Constitution protects and celebrates religious liberty. It does not censor or prohibit it. A quote attributed to Patrick Henry states that the Constitution is not an instrument for the government to restrain the people. It is an instrument for the people to restrain the government, lest it come to dominate our lives and our interests, end quote. Isn't it time we go back to the Constitution? We have to be vigilant over our government. Uh, government behaves a lot better when they know people are watching. We, the United States, has got to raise up political leaders who will tell us the truth about the difficult decisions we're gonna have to make. And we're gonna have to be willing to follow the suggestions and support and elect those people. Religious liberty is gravely threatened in America, the gravest threat it's had since the founding of this republic. Our ability to shape our culture and our future flows from what our founders called our first freedom. How can we stop these kind of abuses? Well, elected representatives write our laws. Federal judges appointed by the president rule on those laws. If we want a different future, we must elect men and women who pledge to defend the original intent of the Constitution. If you value freedom, and want to preserve that blessing for your children and grandchildren? Get informed, go to the polls, and vote your values, your biblical values, and make a difference. I'm only one person. One voice. One vote. I can't do everything. But I can do something. I can register. I can cast my vote. And I can make a difference. I will. Will you? I will. Will you? I will. Will you? I will. Will you?